Uh, hello, this video is going to take you through how to compress pictures for use in a storyboard. Um, so in this case I'm going to open up some pictures that I've taken earlier on using a standard um, normal digital camera. So if I bring up my computer um, here, uh, you'll be able to see that I have a removable disc attached. Now it could be just a straightforward camera attached, but in my case here I have a card reader with a little um, SD card out of a camera in it. If I open it up and go into the different folders, I can eventually see all the pictures that I've taken. Um, it's a useful idea here to go to view and details so that you're able to select or order your pictures by date. Um, you can also see in here just the size of the pictures. That's like 1.2 or 1.3 uh, megabytes per picture. If you end up having 60 of those inside a, a Word document, if you insert them into a Word document or if you insert them into a um, Keltex project, you would end up having a huge um, file on your hands which would cause lots of problems but as you can see here I can select them by date so I want to just uh, I think it's a good idea here instead of using the entire contents of the camera just to select the ones that you want uh, by date which in my case say uh, is just these ones here and you just copy and paste those uh, into uh, another folder which you can then use uh, to uh, make your storyboard from. So these are all the pictures that I need here. Uh, what I now need to do is to open these inside some sort of editing software, picture editing software. If you have Microsoft Office on your computer, that is if you go to all programs uh, and you see Office or Microsoft Office in there somewhere, you'll have Picture Manager, which is a wee sort of free kind of tool for editing pictures. If you're stuck and you don't have it, you could always use GIMP and download it from the internet and there'll be another tutorial for how to do this in GIMP. At any rate, in Picture Manager, all you need to do is right click on a given picture and go to Open with Picture Manager. And you could then, I think, press one of these buttons here, Film Strip, and it should open up all the pictures uh, that you have in that little folder. And what I then want to do is edit these pictures to change the size of them because they're all far too big, um, as in they take up too much space. So if I press Edit Pictures here, you see that I can change all sorts of things if I wanted to, but what I really want to do is just compress the pictures down here. So if I press compress pictures, um, the default options don't compress, um, but we're going to go for web pages, which it really uh, shrinks them down. So if I do uh, that down at the bottom here, I've got an OK option. Um, I scroll down for you. And as long as I go to web pages, if I press OK, it will then go through each of those pictures one by one and uh, change uh, the size and you can see the actual original size and the new size here and these will be absolutely fine uh, for the purposes of our um, work in storyboarding and it's a good idea to try and shrink the size of your pictures that way.